Okay, so in today's launch box setup guide, I'm going to be getting you up and running with the very awesome Sega Model 2 emulator. So I'm going to be showing you which files you need. We're going to go through controller settings and everything else which really comes with it, which is going to give you a very awesome retro gaming experience. And check this one out. <laughs> Before I start today's launch box in Sega Model 2 emulation setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new guide and it also helps my channel a lot too. So we're looking at launching Sega Model 2 games through Launchbox today. So I'm going to be using the latest Launchbox release which actually came out a few days ago. Now, first of all, what we're going to need to do is actually download the Model 2 emulator. You can emulate this through RetroArch, so you need this dedicated standalone emulator. If you just go to download Model 2 emulator from here, the current version is 1.1a. So I've already downloaded this already. Once you downloaded it, if you're using WinRAR, you'll download it into a archive package or even a zip folder if you're using something like WinZip. So what I'm going to do with this is right click on my desktop, new folder, and I'm going to just call this folder model 2. You can call this whatever you like. And I'm going to drag in that emulator into the model 2 folder. If I go into the model 2 folder, right click on it and we need to extract this. Once this is extracted, we can now delete that archive. No longer need that one. And in a games folder just here, these are all in .zip and you don't need to extract these through the Model 2 emulator. What I am going to do is just drag that games folder with my Model 2 games into that Model 2 folder that I've just created. Next thing I'm going to do is just actually right click on games and I'm going to go to copy as path. And what I'm going to do next before actually doing anything in Launchbox is actually configure some directory settings. So if we open up emulator.ini, you can open this up with Notepad as long as you can edit the text like I'm about to do. And what we need to do from here, seventh line down, you're going to find semicolon direct one. What I'm going to do is just backspace and delete that semicolon. And I'm going to just delete where it says model 2 forward slash ROMs. I'm just going to backspace this. And then if I press Control and V together, that's going to then paste in that path, which I've just copied for that games folder. So firstly, I'm just going to delete that quotation mark at the end. And then I'm going to backspace until I get to this. So this is exactly how it should be. So what we're going to do next with this is actually scroll down just a bit further. And under X input, there's a zero just there. If I just backspace this and replace the zero with the digit one. So what we're going to do next is go to file, save, and just close that down. Next up, we're going to open up launch box. Okay, and I'm going to be a bit old school with this. I understand that Launchbox has now got a new feature in it where it creates folders for you, but I'm going to just close down this window and go to Tools, Import, ROM Files, and this is going to bring us to the Import ROMs File Wizard. If I press Next on this, next thing we need to do is tell Launchbox where the Sega Model 2 games are. So I'm going to go to Add Folder. And the games are obviously on my desktop and they're actually in my Model 2 folder. So I'm going to go inside Model 2 folder and just left click once on games and select folder. I'm going to go to next. And what platform are you importing games for? So you can either drop this down or just type in Sega Model 2. Next up, choose an emulator. So what we're going to need to do on this part is just go to add. And from ads, we're going to just make sure that under emulator name, Sega Model 2 emulator is typed out. It should do this automatically. And the next thing we need to do is underneath we got application path. What we need to do is point this into the same location as the emulator executable. So to do this, we're going to go to browse. And again, it's going to be on my desktop in my Model 2 folder. 
And here we go. So I'm going to select emulator.exe for this and go to open. Next up, we got default command line. So I'm going to type in this minus minus followed by full screen. And what this is going to do is open up the emulator in full screen mode rather than it being windowed. And then from here, I'm going to go to OK. And then next, next part of this is going to ask us if we want to relocate our games. So mainly your first two options here are going to give you that ability. I'm going to use the games where they are, which is on my desktop. So use the files in their current location. I'm going to press next. Next part of this is mainly going to be for Launchbox Big Box Premium. So obviously you've got to pay for this, but if you're into retro gaming, then I highly recommend it. The vast majority of images you can download just here under media type are pretty much designed for big box edition. If you're using the free version of Launchbox, then if you download most of this, it's just going to be cluttering up hard drive space unnecessarily. So in that case, if you don't want to download anything, just a couple, just go to check none and then just select something like box 3D. For me, I'm going to check all and go to next. Configure MU Movies. So just like the previous option, MU Movies is pretty much there for big box where you can actually download preview videos. MU Movies is a few dollars a month. And again, just like big box, I totally recommend it. If you do have MU Movies, just pop in your ID and your password. Go to next, next. And finally, it's now ready to import our Sega Model 2 games. If I go to finish, Okay, so everything's now been imported, complete with artwork. So again, if you're using the free version of Launchbox, then you can actually change images by going to image group. And for example, just use some like boxes. Okay, so now the games are added, what I'm gonna do is just show you how to actually play one of these games. So I'm gonna just select one of these games at random and I'm gonna select Sega GT24. So what I'm going to do is just open this game so I can right click on it, go to play or launch with Sega Model 2 emulator. Now if you find it doesn't boot up into a full screen mode, what you can actually do to put this into a full screen mode whenever you boot up a game is go to video and you want to put auto switch to full screen on and every time you open up a game it should then open up into full screen mode so whilst we're here what we need to do is actually configure controller settings so right now my controller isn't working at all on this i'm using an xbox controller so i need to configure this per game so to do this i'm going to go to game configure controls and if i double left click on input and we got controls configuration so if i double left click on up for example and press up say on my d-pad and so on and just make sure you've got all the relevant buttons here mapped out to your controller especially your start button and especially your coin button now personally i'm not going to map out the test or the service buttons these are accessed by your f2 and f1 function keys on your keyboard i'm going to map out everything else though And in terms of service and test keys, in particular games with Sega Model 2, we do need to access uh, particular settings. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute, but what I'm going to do is just go to close for now. Push the stop button. Wait. You're ready. Coast select. Here select.
Okay, so from time to time, we will need to access the test mode menu. And like I mentioned just now, I've done this by pressing F2. And by pressing F1, I can use that cursor to go up and down. So really, it depends on the game you're playing. Something like Daytona or Daytona USA will require particular settings, which you might have to look for yourself online. Uh, generally, things are under game assignments, and you can access these by pressing F2. And again, F1 and F2 are your main buttons there. But I don't need to do it for this game. And that's it for today's Launchbox and Sega Model 2 emulator setup guide. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And just remember, every time I release a new retro guide, you'll get notified. And it also helps my channel out too, so do just do me a favour. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.